<laughs> I do that every time. Hello, happy Saturday. I was a little late to stream, sorry. I was trying to look for some Halloween assets. And then I kind of figured I didn't really like them. <laughs> So, but if you see any Halloween assets during stream, I can put them on, alright? Um, I like tried this hood. Hold on. Uh, I tried this hood, and I was like, I don't like... How big it is. Like, I, I like, look, I'm so, it's so big. <laughs> it's just like a cardboard on me. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, eh, what I not? We're, we're, it's okay. My setup is spoopy enough. <laughs> I can't see my clearness. I'm more concerned because it was covering my head, but I mean, yeah. That as well. There was also this hat. Um. Let me know if you can hear the kids playing outside. They're these high schoolers, and I don't like them. <laughs> there you go. Oh, snap! I moved myself. Well done. There's this hat, too. It's quite a big hat. It's cute, but it's, it's quite a big hat. <laughs> so I was, like, playing around before a stream of different assets, and I was kind of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> you, you were just talking to me, Sue, about this. About me playing The Walking Dead. Ooh, hi, Lena. Welcome in. Wait, what were you talking about? That I'm gonna, like, scream? And cry? Because I, 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 I mean, I, I'm definitely not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, definitely not going to scream and cry. <laughs> Leo, Woo, and Wild Lena has appeared. Use the Master Ball. What? You got Master Balls, Carlos? Man. But yeah. Um, so I mentioned this on Twitter, but I did watch a couple playthroughs of this before. I watched one like years ago. And I watched one pretty recently of the one with ProZD, Steve, and Marie on um, ProZD Plays Games on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I love this. And they're going to start playing the season two. And I was like, I've never seen the season two before. So I was going to play that one. And then I realized Walking or season two is affected by both your choices in this first game and in the DLC 400 Days. So I was like, oh man, I love games where my actions have consequences. So that's why here I am playing season one first. Uh, let's see, you said, Lena says, wasn't sure if you'd be interested in the game. I said it'd be cool if Leah or any of our friends played it. Oh, you love this series? Yeah, I love it too. But I remember, I didn't remember anything when I was watching um, Marie play it. And I, I, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't watched the game yet. Um, so I'm going to do my best not to like be like, oh my god, this thing's going to happen. I'm just going to play the game. <laughs> so yeah. We are, let's get started. I kind of, I put all the audio at five. We're going to find out if that's too loud. <laughs> the sound effect is... But it's fine. Alright, take your time, Carlos. Um, choose a display style, so they're standard. More help from UI and feedback when you make important choices. And then there's minimal, turn off UI hints, help, and choice notification. We need standard. <laughs> we're gonna need standard. Alright, and then we're gonna start on the first one, episode one, a new day. Alright? The stream is gonna go on as long as I can play. 
because I want I want to get as close to season two as I can. Oh, Jet! Thank you for the resub. Oh my gosh, seven months. Hi, Jet. How are you doing? Thank you for stopping in. God, it's loud. Can you imagine how loud it would be at maximum? Oh my gosh, I love that emote! That's so cute! Oh my god, the little howdy! <laughs> You've actually never seen The Walking Dead? I've never seen the, the actual show. I've only seen this game. On only the first season. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Oh, I have to press numbers? Um... Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Oh, I can look around. Oh, oh my gosh, I gave myself motion sickness. Do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. I don't want to talk to you. Now aim for the- ah! Oh my gosh, Sari! It's a wild Sari! Hi, Sari! Thank you for the hydrate. Let me go ahead and do that. How are you doing? Alright. Um, look at rearview mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Oh, and Head Butler's here too. Real mess you got yourself Hello, Head Butler. In, with all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Oh, we have a, a drugstore in Macon. Look at radio. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? That hit a sore spot. You want to know how I see it? I don't. Sure. Sure. Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. Excuse me. <laughs> F you, copper. Guy, that looks pretty serious. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Yikes! So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. I'm not even gonna say well, anything. Let me tell you something. 
They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Hmm. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressed. I don't want to listen to your stories anymore. Wait, is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my. Holy, holy buckets. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What, what a tumble. Oh, my gosh. The audio is so loud. I might tone that down. Uh. In a little bit. That cop is showing us his dance moves. Indeed. Come on, man, get up! Oh god, how long have we been out? It was that deep before. Might look for a way out of the car. This. Damn it. Okay. Um. Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? I'm no. Back here. He does not look all right. Um. Oh. No. I hate this perspective. Oh, here. Okay, now move toward the window. Got it. And then... I can either use the mouse wheel or numbers. I need to drag myself up. <laughs> I'm just staring at the window. I need to get out of it. Ow! No. Ow! Oh my god, it's warped! Oh my goodness! Oh god! Why'd I play this game? <laughs> Why'd I play this game? I don't want to get near that guy. The officer's shotgun is Can I grab that? Let's grab that. Uh, 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 oh snap! It was crunchy. Looks empty. Oh god! It was crunchy. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Oh, I need to get my cuffs off. How about I grab the shotgun shell? Can I do that? Oh god, crunchy! Alright, I have that. I'm guessing the cop has my keys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, just gonna grab this for a second, officer. Mm -hmm. Oh god! Why'd you do that, man? Oh god! Ah! Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay, it's fine. Alright. Alright, don't drop it again, man. Oh shoot, why are you making me do this? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it! I'm getting away, I'm getting away, I'm getting away! Get away from me! Get, grab that thing! Grab it! Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Alright. Oh my god! Don't make me do this! Okay. Oh god. Uh, 
Luka Booga had Butler doing his Eustace impression. Are you doing it with the mask? <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> I'm fine. It's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Stop! Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to get up? Um. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Um. Oh! Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Wait a minute. That looked familiar. She looks familiar to me. I screamed before I even came out. Oh god, Crunchy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, run away, man, run away. Oh god, the Crunchy is like a, a lordy. Oh god. Oh lordy, are we dead? Oh my god, are we dead? Oh god, the music's so loud! Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. I can't believe I screamed before they even came out. scared because my music was getting louder. <laughs> okay, I definitely need to lower the volume. For the music, at least. Hello? Anybody? Alright, give me a second. We're just gonna lower the music to like a four. Like that does anything. Okay. Nope, nobody. Do I have to get close to it? Oh god, our crunchy leg. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> Is that the time? <laughs> Is this the time? Hmm, bourbon. Wow, this Help! these people have a pool. Anything over there? Hmm. Okay. I wonder if anybody's home. Good question. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Alright, we're just gonna let ourselves in. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah, uh, nothing wrong here. Ah, hello. I'm not an intruder or one of them. Oh God, that looks bad. These people might need more help than I do. Ooh, a unicorn. Okay, no comment about the unicorn. Got it. Decorative fruit. Oh, voicemail. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Is that supposed hey, to be a stare? This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in Aww, time before cute. spring break. 
Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. Oh. No. We love you. I'm sad. Oh, look at them. How come I don't remember seeing a family picture before? Daddy? Huh? I'm not your daddy. Where is it? Oh, I found it. First try. Okay. Hello? You need to be quiet. Maybe never picked it up? Maybe. Uh... Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Um... How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi. Dang, Clementine, you're living good. I'm Lee. Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. Oops, I meant to press one. Where are your parents? Sorry, Clementine. Left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. She's a smart girl. <laughs> oh God! Oh, get off of me! Oh crap! Ew! E! E! I didn't press E! <laughs> oh god! Oh god, concussion! Oh shoot! Oh god! Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! Oh god, crunchy! Okay! Oh god! Okay, okay. Oh god! Alright. Oh god! Oh! Squelchy! Oh god! <laughs> Squelchy! Okay, Squelchy. Okay, okay. I think she's dead. Oh! Oh god! <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Whew. For good measure, yes. For, for good measure, indeed. Hi there. Hi there. I just hammered that, this girl's heads in. Did you her brain it? in. Um. Yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. <sighs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want it just started, to, to be now. fair. But how did her babysitter turn? Might be a little while, you know. Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um. Should we look for help before it gets dark, or get out of here when the sun's go down? Before it gets dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. It's not safe at night. You chose the safety of the daylight. Yes, I did. Let's go. Stay close to me. 
I didn't really get to explore the kitchen, but that's fine. I, there probably wasn't nothing in there. Probably nothing important. Okay, girly, let's go. Ooh. Why did I play this game? <laughs> it's fine. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Who are you people? Hot dish night. Hot dish night? Well, we gotta get home to mama now. It's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Oh. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. I didn't really answer her question, but you know, I reassure her, hey, I guess. Man. Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. Uh, we're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... I'm... Just, Just some, some guy. guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I don't know. Should I have lied? I am just some guy. I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Uh... I'm doing great for a guy who broke his leg. Oh my gosh, even Clementine's helping. Thank you. Any more? Oh no, we got it. I would not want to be on the back seat or trunk. For just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Oh. If you think the beginning is intense, just wait until you see the other season slash chapters. Ooh. <laughs> oh, thank you for the head pat. Yum. I've never heard of that. It was nice to meet you both. Sure. <laughs> Ioni. I <laughs> Stop it! Thank God you're okay. <laughs> I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, your boy's, your boy's lifesaver. lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy. Who yeah, just some guy. That's uh, me. Do you know this man? Yes. <laughs> okay, then. That feels very convincing. Yes, I just met this guy. I know his name and how old he is. Yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. 
You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. I've been crunching on it. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? I didn't. It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I'm having to clean How it? Happened? It's fine. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Uh... I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> now, with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. And we're done here. She's not my daughter. Me, I'm just some guy, okay? Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um. Looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. Child is here. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Mm. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. You just bandaged Thanks. it, but okay. Really? I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> You're probably dealing with an infection. Oh. We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> Clementine. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, why didn't you clean it the first time? There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> I miss when a horse dead. plops. That's so cute. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. That looks so uncomfortable. Ew. I love <laughs> I don't remember this either. Uh-oh. Bad, bad nightmare, I guess. Hey, get up. You get yeah. up. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm um. uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna go a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dang! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> dumb dumb? The word is... Like the lollipop? Well, family's from there. 
Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. What do you mean by that? I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, She's not a missus. Uh, this is Lee. <laughs> and, uh, what's the girl's no, name? No, like, doubly Clementine. dumb. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Hop to it? Okay. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. What's your name? Hey there, girls. Uh, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. You used to be a teacher. Ah. Uh. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Interesting. You two actually look relaxed. Katya learned you I were fired. I just fine. She Jonas sure did. She was telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could do first so, grade. You're good? Anyway, it's so <laughs> like we I could do first, first grade with my eyes closed. Just three days. It's peaceful here, no? We learned Clementine's first grader. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just... But they're not closed. Over some, just... just... I'm hey, sorry, Katya. It's fine. Katya, you don't I don't know. Say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Hmm... Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. <laughs> but they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. <laughs> He's so changed. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. I mean... Okay, Lee. He, he's not wrong. Things were bad before. Before this even happened. Hello. Hello. Hey there. Kenny? Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Okay. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, no uh, kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Oh. How's your son How's doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Hmm, I'm a boat. commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. Interesting. He has a boat. All right. Can I go inside the house? Nope. Okay. This is a nice little farm. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk to Duck. Oh god, audio. Okay. Duck's having 
a great time. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. Uh, careful of that. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> careful of that, little boy. Sean's still working on that fence. He sure is. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? Why do you look away like that? If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. I can cut things, I think. Why is there red splotches on it? it is. No, it doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. <laughs> Damn. I don't really want to help. Please say no. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's a it's pain. Like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Did I have what? to do it? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Yeah. Bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. He won't Dad forget that. Keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? How is my family? Um. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right, man. And hey, Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. It Come smells me. irony. Hmm. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. I get <laughs> interesting. Yes, iron e. You sure it's paint? All right, so let's talk to his dad. Oh, he's in the farm. Okay. Hello. Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm? How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh... I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's can you bad. taste test it? Yes, sure, Ioni. You can lick the wood. Was it up to? <laughs> yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh... No wife. Uh, not anymore. I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I did. Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. You don't like Can me. I give you a piece of advice. Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar, and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before I have to become get. a better liar? You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But okay. you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. I'm being accused of being a nunce. Oh god! Go! I'll get my gun. I need to become a better liar, I guess. But I wasn't even lying, I was telling the truth. Oh god! Oh god! Oh shoot! I gotta help the boy. What do I do? Punches him. Uh, now what? Do I punch it again? Punch. I got you. Get this tractor off of me! Please help me. Kenny. 
you, but... Oh, God, no! Oh, God! What was his name? I forgot already. Sean. No, Sean! Rip dude, man. Oh, God. You're right, I didn't. Uh... I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Okay, look. Please. He's stuck under the tractor. There was nothing I could do about Get that. Out and never come back. Oh... Sean. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. I'm sorry, man. All right, here we are in Macon. This is as far as we're going. Maybe. Then it's far enough. Well, it looks like we're not making it, huh? <laughs> uh, all right. No! Okay, fine. I deserve that. <laughs> Thank you for the bunk. <laughs> Look! Hey there! Man staying in Dor Georgia. No. Oh god. There's a lot of them. Oh god. We just saved you too. Oh god. Hello. Hello. Oh god. Bro, get away from that. Oh. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What about what the boy? That? Where's I, Duck? I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Uh, I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Uh, give a flying. Fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. You stop that. Dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've all uh, this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Oh. Stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Uh. It's just a boy. It, it's, Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the I fuck didn't sight of Kenny. Uh-oh. I was just trying to be neutral. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. 
I don't know. Did we make a mistake? Trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you I hate this guy. He's bitten. That's He's not bitten. Burned. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your no, she's not my daughter. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. Oh my god, he's awful, Don't isn't he? Him, cat. Just worry about duck. Time to kick him out. Me. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. How would be know where the keys are? Luck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Oh my god. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Uh. No. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I'm can you remember my loyalty? Here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! Yeah, come on! Plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone... Oh, my God, Lee. <laughs> oh god, we knocked ourselves out. Uh Q. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Ah, I did. I did save the bab. You better kill me before you attempt to kill him okay. since I'm been tripping on his own feet. That's great, thanks. Huh. Uh, guys? Of course she'll remember I protected her. She's my baby. What the heck? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. I hate this man. Yeah. Get a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. Well, right. no. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If huh. you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. The fact that this Georgia yeah, really makes pills. makes you feel like actually making yourself zombie feed? What do you mean? Food box. 
Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. A food bank. <laughs> food box. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Georgia is just as bad as Florida. I can believe it. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy, that saved, guy you? saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You Doug, to the rescue. The ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Parent's basement? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. How'd you, How end, up you here? end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm. Nothing. There are huh. no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> what are batteries? Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. <laughs> what are batteries? Is that why it's not turning on? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, Lena? By the living dead cards. Oh. What I just pick up? Is that a battery? It looks like one. We need two batteries. Unless that's enough? We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. You don't remember who? Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Yeah. Okay. How's she doing? I didn't talk to her yet, because I'm a... Uh... How should I know? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh... They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are hey, you guys, guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands. Bro, you ran away too. You. <laughs> it happened pretty fast, I guess. He just grabbed we Duck and ran away. Head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. Well, we I did. Do when you look back. <laughs> When things are really out Oh my gosh, no! Hi! You know, How are you? Sense. Thank you for coming in. I guess. Console? Try to let it go.
It's a bit late over there, right? Don't stay up too late. <laughs> That's the best enough emote. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damn best. So I'll melt it now. Energy bar. That's a... I don't want to talk to you right now. You suck. <laughs> oh wait, that's a good one! Your headaches are finally settling down and feeling fresh and nice. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear it. It's cursed. It is cursed. Oh, another energy bar. I got so many of them now. Talk to Clem. Hey there. Hi. Can I get you anything? Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Okay. Any word from Glenn? from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Should be. Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. But I just, uh. I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. Why are you asking? Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. <laughs> Lee, you are so bad. Yeah. This is so cringe. Well, sit tight. Good talk. <laughs> How is the game? It's one of the Telltale series, right? Yep, it is. It's um, it's good so far. I actually did watch someone play this before, so I kind of have an idea of how the story goes. Uh, but I'm excited to make my own choices and see where it takes me. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I screamed a little bit earlier. It's fine. Uh... ATM. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. I think I have a battery. Let's put that this in. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Oh, uh, you have to find another one? I appreciate it. Thing. Okay. Alright, let's go talk to Doug. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. Oh. Uh, not right now. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. <laughs> not yet, sir. Right? The IT guy. Okay. I need to find one more battery. Huh. Where would it be? Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those... Things out there. Mm. Oh, I should give him some food. Here. It's not much, but here, for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay. I think I had three granola bars or energy bars. Excuse me, anyone know where an extra battery is? It might not even be in here. I think I've I looked through here pretty well. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. He was being violent with us! He was literally saying he wanted to put the shovel in the kid's head. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. I'm not even gonna be apologetic for that. He was the one who instigated the aggression. over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. 
Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Ooh, you have a Fallout dog meat blanket? She's that sounds dead. great. Keeping you warm, a hot cup of hot chalky. Nope, is living the good life. I'm glad you're feeling better once again. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. <gasps> oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That must Did be... You know anybody here? His parents. Yeah, the owners, they were... Uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. You guys don't deserve it. It's not much, baby. but I'll give it to you. Are you. Sure. Yeah, you're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. The way people don't like to make eye contact. <laughs> Do you guys see any batteries? Nope. The pills are in there. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Maybe it's in the back. Because I looked around here pretty thoroughly, I think. Yep, I'm comfy too. The weather's gotten colder, so I have my little blanket on. I also have a heated blanket, which is nice. Alright, let's go look at the back. Because I don't think I can find the other battery. You're happy it's getting colder so you can dress like an 18... Oh, sorry. 1900 to 1940s again. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Yep, showing no ankle. <laughs> I love... I do have like a, a bunch of sweaters. So I'm happy I can wear them because I swear my wardrobe is like 60% winter fall stuff. So I can't wear it most of the time. First aid kit. Hmm. What's inside? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Oh. A photo over there. I do see that. Oh, they were looking at the picture of the family. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Anything? Hey, girl. Uh. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Okay. Pay attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Tell it, sister! No drama! Let's see. Neff says, I simply love elegant women's clothing. It started a few years back dressing like that. It helps so much with your self-esteem. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. I love like when you find a fashion style that makes you feel more confident in yourself and raises your self-esteem. I totally get that. Carly's great. Oh. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any god dog ever could. <laughs> Mysterious so stick. You know how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. No. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Was there no battery? Where's the battery? Well. Alright, let's move it. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Oh, she looks so happy! Of course you can help. You Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Wow, Did smart. You? What's your They make good money. I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You're smart. We have you social studies in first question. grade. All right, a little further. Come on, Lee. She's smart. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Um... Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. You're not being mean, baby! Look, my 
family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll just tell her the truth. I, uh, I, I got into a fight. Oh, okay, I can't tell the truth yet. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Oh my gosh, Smallis, thank you for the- Oh god! Are you okay? <laughs> thank you for the gift sub. Is it bleeding? A little. I appreciate it. How are you doing? I'll find you a bandage. Um... Oh, baby. Now we need it. You're a bit tired? Yeah, just take it easy now. Relax. Are you done for the week or you still got another ship tomorrow? Let's have a look at that finger. I know those 12 hour shifts. Whew. Let's see if we can do Done for the week? Excellent. I love to hear it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Um... Lee? I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. <laughs> I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I love how bouncy her hair. It's so cute. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Uh, it must be fine. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Oh, maybe it's in here. No. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Okay, we got a remote. How you doing? Okay. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here. But I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. His stories? That sounds kind of suspicious, father. That's what I figured. Okay, no battery. Hmm. No battery. I might ask you guys where the last battery is. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Can we open it? Probably not. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Okay. Anything else? Alright. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Mystery okay. battery. For real. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm a killer. All right. 
Um. Mystery battery. Y'all got a battery? How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. <laughs> you got it. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh oh. Little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hey. Anything else you got to tell, them to tell me? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. <laughs> hey. What's this? Oh, <gasps> battery! Alright, guys. Carly? Your battery? Queen? Should be able to get it to work now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. No? <sighs> Nothing. Girl? Girl? As the you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. Oh my god. He urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact. This is a true sympathy. <laughs> I love putting batteries in backwards. Same. Well, yikes. Hey, Carly. Are you okay? That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. I'm sorry, Carly. Alright, let's go look outside of Doug, and then we'll go out How with Carly. Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? I like that weird bear that's on his shirt. Let's have a look around. Okay. God, they're ill. Oh, oh God. Me too, my man. As far as I can tell, he's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Oh. How the fuck? I think it Could it be me as soon as I get something? <laughs> oh my God, Smallest. Yeah, you deserve it. What are you? What's on the menu? Be Everett. 
Oh shit. Oh, that must be our brother. Kind of he has a familiar face. Ah, oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all cheated. He has a name tag. So yeah, Doug, you're not helping. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Burgers and fries. Still thinking some ramen. Think oh, those are both good. Oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? Did, but it was too Those are both good choices. I think I would be in the mood for like a burger. And what mm, happened? Burger. There, most of who you see wandering around out there. It's a combination lock. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh. You can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Ramen tomorrow for sure. Maybe. Your Korean is itching for some noodles. Ooh. Fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Ramen is just such a good, like, hearty food meal. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Hmm. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Behind the glass. If only we had something that we could hit at it. What if I used the remote on the lock? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. <laughs> okay. Alright, I don't think there's much else I can do at the moment. Unless... There's something by my feet? Ooh, a brick. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's go back in, Doug. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound mm, of noodles. We might be able There's to some dumplings. Through. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. I'd love some beef bagolgi with some rice too. Oh I'm hungry. Spend a lot of time. I'm hungry. No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Do you think we're safe? Did I say this one already? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. You have some kalbi you need to cook soon, well. too. It's so hard to come home after a long shift and even think about cooking. Let's head back inside. Okay. Ooh, spicy pork belly with kimchi and rice? That also sounds good. We're just talking about food now. <laughs> I made some jiao, um, like, like, earlier this week, I think on Monday, and then I'm gonna make homemade... I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Y-O-U-T-I-A-O, yu yo tiao It's like Chinese donuts. So I'm, I'm making that to eat with the jiao later. I'm excited. Mmm, they're so good.
I'm gonna, it's my first time making it too. We have to like deep fry them. Ooh, pork belly up noodles. Yes! That sounds like a good meal. Carly, I'm ready to go. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Man, that guy needs some, like, Rogaine. <laughs> His hair is super thin. Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Glenn, is that you? Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Oh, was that just, like, a garbage disposal? Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky oh, that's an ice machine. Okay. So just leave Not a dumpster or whatever. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it, it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Looks like Glenn has his own queen. Okay. So there's two at the door. There's one there. One over here. That might, this one might be dead. There's this guy having a meal. And there's me. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Peek over wall up. Oh, I don't like that I got two. We can probably make it home to the RV or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Okay, let's go to the truck. No wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Are you gonna look? It's a screwdriver. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Okay. So how can we break the glass? Is there anything over here? No. That just brings me up into the truck. Oh, he's still alive. Or, well, they... Okay. Let's go back over here. We need to find a way to break the car window. So maybe let's go to the RV and see if there's anything over there. Oh, wait, what's this? Hello. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. What are you thinking? I, I don't know. What's the pillow for? Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. What's the pillow for? Mm. Quietly bashing the window? That's a good idea. Let's check over here first. Uh, what's over here? Nothing. What's over here? Nothing. Okay, this was useless. You got any ideas, Glenn? We're a little naked out here. 
except for Carly's gone, and we can't use that much. Okay. Well, let's go back then. All right. We're going to use the pillow on the truck window, I guess. Oh, open the door. Oh, okay. It's not going to work. Examine. Hello. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. <laughs> not without tools, well, making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> okay, so not the pillow. What are you going to do with that? I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. That one sitting down. Just as dangerous as the others. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Oh, nice. It was like a silencer. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, spark plug. Don't mind if I do. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It's coming handy. All right. Let's go back to the truck. We can use the spark plug on the window, right? That's what you're gonna tell me, right? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. <laughs> Guy was just gonna break it. Okay. The porcelain. What was that? I don't know. Let's just get back to harassing this door. Arr! Okay. All right, we got a weapon. Woohoo! That could scramble the brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, let's go back to the tr the car. This one. It's a car up on ramp. Ooh, there's an axe over there too. Push it. Oh, crunchy. What was that? Oh, you're crying now. All right, let's go back over here. I have a weapon now, so maybe I can just kill it? Oh god. Oh, crunchy. Okay. What are you gonna say to me, Glenn? I hope that girl's okay. All right. <laughs> we are cleaning up. Ooh, God. Crunchy. Splorpy. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> What's better than this? Guys being guys. No, sorry. Guys being dudes. That should help. Is 
Is it just the two up there? Okay. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Don't say that. I just told you to lag behind. Dude's being bros. He was like, haha, that was sick, bro. Now we got a better weapon. Guy, hit it! Oh my lord. Rad. That was so cool, bro. The way you just decapitated them. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere. This is Glenn's we queen. We have to help her. No, She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. All right. Well, we asked nicely. She does not look well. Oh God! I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Yikes. Glenn? Glenn? That. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Um. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I... Borrow it? Can I borrow the gun? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of Oh, them. no. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. I'm and sorry. Me. We need to get going. I did make a difficult choice. Me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please! Oh, God! Whoa. Oh. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You oh God! This through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just. No! 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 Oh God! No, it is not very Christian-like at all. Oh, Glenn, that's gross. Bro. Let's get out of here. Oh. Shit. Here they come. Okay. Get in. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Jeez, that was a that was a transition. Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. I'm sorry. Hear. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right. Ooh. Perish, old man. Perish. OK, I'm done. I'm done being mean. <laughs> Hmm. 
You good, Clementine? How's your finger? Clear? I know. Good. Sorry, head it butler. Doesn't hurt so much anymore. You had to good. see me like this. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy. Okay. Okay. Same. You're my guy. Oh, You're my guy. No. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Oh Yes. Deal. That's cute. Let me know if you need anything. Aww. Okay. That's sweet. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Yeah. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? It was a waste of a bullet. Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Oh, okay. What's your, What's next, your move? next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, we need to figure out... Carly, you good? Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to- The blogosphere. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. All right, Doug, let's look outside. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, let's go look back out. Let's have a look around. Okay. All right, I need this brick. Can't reach that brick. Um... Why can't we reach that brick? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I know! I know that the... We need to grab that brick. Throw it at the window. Get the Zambos to go over there. But we can't reach it. So do we just smash the lock? Awesome. Awesome! You just destroyed our... Our, our one way to be safe. Okay, grab the brick. brick. Oh, I still gotta open it? Okay. Do it louder, Lee. Do it louder. <laughs> Not like we're trying to be discreet. They love TV. They love TV. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Oh, he's still alive. Oh. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you 
over there. I want to die for the money. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm having a touching moment with my zombie brother. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of all the law, that helped. <laughs> I'm sure there's no social commentary here about zombies loving TV. Indeed. None at all. Do it again, Lee! Do it again, Lee! Do it again, Lee! It's not cutting! Do it again! Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god, they just noticed me for some reason because I made a little clingy cling. Oh! We don't have any more locks. Oh god. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Oh no, but our cage. The cage is unlocked. Got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Why did the alarm go off? Rat row. Girl, you are looking untextured tonight. <laughs> Girl, you gotta work on that posture, too. Uh oh. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. Oh, God. Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get what am I supposed to do? I have the weapon. Stay away from the windows. What am I supposed to do? Oh, there we go. Lee, we don't make it through this. I should know that... Great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? That I should know. Shit. Oh god! I have to make a decision! Oh, shit. Okay then. Oh god. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something really strong, okay? Okay. Uh -oh. This isn't the time. Hold the door. Oh, cute! Good girl. Put it in, my dude. Put it in. Okay. 
Oh god, Doug! Oh god, Carly! Oh shoot. Well, we all know the decision here, guys. We all know the decision. Alright? Call me a simp. Tell, call me a simp. <laughs> oh! Doug! Oh! Oh, Doug! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, Doug! I got Doug. Oh, get, get off my baby! Get off my baby! Where? Get off my baby! Okay, that guy deserves to die now. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Thank you, my man. A good friend. <gasps> a good friend. May your L's be <laughs> She had a gun, it was a clear decision, indeed. Kenny! The rip <laughs> and the major LC. <laughs> I'm having some mood whiplash. If you have to choose a bro or the chick with the freaking gun. You choose the gun. Yep. Exactly. That's exactly what was influencing my decision. You're, you guys are all totally correct. No, he's still looking at his family. Can she actually aim? Uh, she aims pretty well. Better than I would, so... They call her the Deadeye. Hey, Glenn. She has bullets. I think I need to go. Stage 9 catastrophe? I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped. Glenn, you're gonna die there. Nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. I don't know about that one, Glenn. You guys be safe. We'll try. Stage 9 catastrophe? Is that like the highest stage or what? Bye, Glenn. Don't die. Shit happens, indeed. Let's go talk. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. Old man freaking punched me in the face after I got him his medicine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thank you, Thanks, Kenny. Kenny. You got it. Stay away from dudes with baseball gl bats, Glenn. Uh-oh. Indeed. I should have told him that before he left. Talk to Carly. Carly, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry I saved you. 
I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. No. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. That's totally understandable. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Hello, Lindo. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? I know. Me too, Carly. Back to the kiddos. I hate you. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom no. and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee. Did Glenn take it? Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. That cool it. What do you want? You like my daughter? No? Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You watch your bottom, hey, sir. Lee, do you have a second? You watch your bottom, sir. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. At least someone acknowledges it. He's dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Oh god, chat's going. Hold on guys, I'm in the dialogue. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. You think so, huh? Oh. Never mind. To be continued. Oh. Thank you for the head pat, Lindo. Ooh. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. Oh, we gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. Uh-oh. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God, the music.
Okay. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. Oh God. All right. Nina says, "Gwen is an original character in a TV show, Leah. I'll leave it at that." <laughs> yes, I know that. I know he was the most beloved character. Uh, Head Butler liked Glenn a lot. That's all I know. And yes, Lindo, you have permission to kick his butt. And thank you for coming in, Lindo. How are you doing? All right. So here is our choices. So uh, honesty lied to Herschel. Herschel is the grandpa, right? How did he lie? I thought I was being as honest as I could be. How did he lie? You're good, just relaxing and gaming. Oh, nice. I'm good. I am a little hungry, so I might play just a little bit longer and then have some dinner. Who would you save? You have 49% of players to have stuck. I was trying to tell the truth. Oh, I don't know how I did that. You and 48% of players defended Kenny. Kenny. That's pretty even, isn't it? Uh, Mercy. I was in the majority. Um, I was in the minority, but I was basically 50-50. And then at the end, <gasps> you and 76 of players percent of players chose Carly. Sorry, Doug. Doug for least favorite. <laughs> oh, poor Doug. There we go. Ioni's enjoying Honkai. I need to play Honkai again. I'm still, uh, back in the beginning, still. <laughs> but I think you guys just know I'm really bad at playing games in general. Or watching anime as well. Oopsie. Can I make this go faster? Or can I skip it? Oh, no. Okay, we'll just keep going. I'm sure it's not too long. Dang, so the first episode took me about two hours. You know, I thought I would be faster. But, no. <laughs> I think there's five episodes in all. Um, dang. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fit this in to playing uh, Neo, The World Ends of You, and Dave the Diver. And I also want to play Omori. I'm like, ah, I just don't stream enough to play the games that I play. You know what I mean? Huh. <sighs> And I'm taking next week off, too. Like, I'm only streaming two weekends out of November, so that kind of hurts things. Hurts my progress, as well. I've been resting well. I have! I actually have been a little tiny nap earlier, believe it or not. Do I just play? Okay. Why not rotate it each week? Yeah, I might I might have to do that. Ah. And I only stream like two hours a night. Oh, too many games. Alright guys, just in case you guys weren't paying attention uh to the last two hours. Here's a little recap. Ooh. Been all by yourself through this. Yeah, I want my parents. Everyone has their backlog. You, you yeah, you're right. Thanks, Mollis. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. 
Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Doug! Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. I hate that old man. What's his name? Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. I don't regret siding of Kenny because that guy was uh, had no right. Oh God, Doug! Oh my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You watch your bottom. Okay. I hear squelchy noises again. Three months later. Ooh, look at that! We're all healed up. That's good. Who are you? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Oh man. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. What's a commissary? It's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Hmm. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Hmm. Not, Not enough. enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Hmm. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, Larry hates me. And I don't like Larry. Uh Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? He did. Knock me flat. Trying to get me killed. All my homies hate Larry. Exactly. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust Cutting his kneecaps. I, I, I won't shoot. Mark, you really gooped. Oh dear. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh god. We're actually we're having action again. Oh. I could be a voice actor too, guys. Oh God! Christ. Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. Oh jeez. Why the fuck is 
there a bear trap out here? What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Okay. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, God. The walkers. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. No release latch. Shit. Why is there a bear trap out here too? Please get me out of this. Oh God, please. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh God. There has to be a way out of this. Come on. Please. Does that do anything? Does that do anything? Does that do anything? Does that do anything? Okay, fine. I'm s you can get it open? Come on. Maybe I can pry it open with this bridge. are gonna be here soon. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe I can pry it open with this bridge. Lee, no, stop! Why is this happening to us? Another way. Oh god, I just made it worse. Oh god. Oh god. So much blood. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. Stop, stop, stop. There's gotta be something we can do. Okay, okay. Oh god. No, no, no. Stop. Okay, I'm just making him suffer more. Sorry. I gotta do it, my man. I gotta do it, my man. I'm sorry. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Don't look, everyone! Don't look! Oh God! Don't look! Oh my Lord! Oh! I'd pass out too. He's alive, it has to be done, indeed. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. <laughs> Oh god, Travis! Oh rip. You know what? I think I'll just eat a big breakfast tomorrow. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at this old man freaking tapping a fence up a rock. Larry, what are you doing for us? <laughs> Thank you, Linda. This is so sad. Larry the lobster, but not as cool. Yeah. For real. Larry the Lobster, if he was just a jerk and old. <laughs> Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? 
Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, you mom? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right Yikes. here, right now. I mean, you're right. Come on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of oh this Oh my god, so much stuff is happening. Well, we I'm overwhelmed. Goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Oh. He's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. They do have great voice acting. Kenny you're right. To leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Okay, Dad, guy. <laughs> why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, why don't you go tap a rock on the wall? Why don't you do that, okay? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Look. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. I only have four food items for ten hungry people. <sighs> I want to punch him so badly too. I only take Kenny's side because I don't like the dad. <laughs> well, I get why Lily acts the way she does. Alright, um, first things first, kids get to eat, okay? How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. How does she lose her hat and not know where it went? I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I get to give my girl some food. Hey, you need something to eat. All right, an apple, piece of jerky, or crackers and cheese. Um, if I was a kid, I want crackers and cheese. So let's give her that. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Of course I'm gonna yeah, give it to Duck. I'm gonna get some food. Alright, Duck. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? He's so happy. He's so happy. I'm gonna give you an apple. Here. Oh, <laughs> heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No. <laughs> Sorry. 
All right, now I got two pieces of food. Uh, Ben just came in. I'll talk to him, though. How are you doing? Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. All right, she's like an animal yeah, bet, okay? His leg. There was no other way. So who are you? So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. Ben Paul. Never trust a guy with two ben first names. My school. <laughs> we all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when for the playoffs, happened. like basketball. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help. You know, some kind of, I don't know, something. He'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Sorry, Ben. I'm not giving you any food. In no time. I sure hope so. I'm a butt like that. <laughs> so that walkie-talkie? That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah. If that's okay, I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. So Glenn just took it? I think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take Aww. good care of it I will. You doing How okay? You doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I don't think so. Mm. It doesn't look good, Clementine. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. How you doing? doing Doug? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? A goat? <laughs> You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though the guy can be a real dick sometimes. Oh yeah, you can say that again. To Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Carly! I love Thanks, Carly. Man. You're great. I'll think about it. I want to feed you, but I need to think about who else to feed. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Hmm. The coast does sound like a smart idea. F Larry. Yes, Lindo. F Larry. I'm taking my family. Yeah, we can't stay here anymore. We're just sitting ducks here. Okay, I can't walk that direction. <laughs> Let's go talk to Katja. Gotta be walk so slow. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Mm. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. 
God, she got blood all over her. Well, especially I'm Duck. He's you. definitely a sitting duck. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Uh It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pain. Oh my god! I hate Larry so much. I was even thinking, like, maybe I should give him some food. So that Lily will... I'll be in Lily's graces. Okay? But he's such a bad guy. He makes it so hard to want to help him. Yeah. I just hope Kadja can save him. Do we have to talk to Larry? You ever Indeed. Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. God, I hate this guy so much. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Well, we know the choice. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Even though hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Yeah. Come on. I didn't ax you. Cut me some slack. Jeez. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Okay, that kind of made me okay with him again, I guess. I hate him. <sighs> but I want to be on Willie's good side. Can we feed him to the walkers? Yeah. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. <laughs> okay, guys. I hate them so much. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. You made a tough choice. Oh, I did. Man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Mark? Mark, is that what you do with a fence? Or sorry, with an axe? <laughs> At least Lena appreciated it. Alright, we need to figure out who to give the last piece of food to. I'm thinking Carly. And I'm not saying it because I'm a simp. Actually, how do we talk to Lily? Where is she? Lee, can you walk any slower? Thank you. Oh! I don't know what Or maybe I can't talk to Lily. Maybe that's what's... What's up? <laughs> thank you for the hydrate. Oh, and the stretch. Thank you very much. Let me have some water here. And the stretch. Thank you, Lena. Oh my god, my back is so crunchy. 
Oh. Urge to throw right. <laughs> oh no, please spare me. <laughs> uh, how many points do you have now? Maybe I can't talk to Lily. Although it'd be kind of weird that I can't feed her. Uh, I kind of feel bad for Mark though. Mark is super hungry. But everyone's hungry. I mean, no, not the crunchy back. We can give it to Katja. Katja has blood on her hands though. I don't know if she even has an appetite. Oh wait, Lily's up there. Doi. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We have a routine now and it's working. But we don't have food. For now. You got made fun of for eating more than anyone else in the house. Else in the house? What? Jeez. That's so rude. Well, no one else is eating? Tell them I got a few words to give them. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. But man, I'm sorry. You need to eat. Don't even like pay any mind. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All Your headache isn't going away, and neither is the hunger. Oh. There is no food. You know that better. Is that a side effect of your medication? Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. Okay, I gave the two kids food. I gave Larry food. There's only one left. Oh, the situation? Okay. I was thinking, like, sometimes food or medication makes you hungry. But yeah, I can understand the headache. Take care of yourself. Um... I could feed Kenny. No, that would just make Lily mad. I'm gonna give it to Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Oh. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Hmm. She said no! I don't know then. No, Carly! I don't want to keep it for myself. Mm. Okay, Kenny. They'll be really mad if I give it to Ben because Ben is new. So it's either Kenny, Katja, or Mark, or Lily. Why am I spending so much time on this? <laughs> um. I don't like Lily. I mean, I don't like Larry, but I gave food to Larry for Lily. I'll give it to Mark. Here, eat something. Can you imagine if I said eat something and I was like, just kidding. Thanks, Lee. Not such an easy job, is it? Never no. It was. Oh wait, what? Where's where am I? Oh, okay. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. 
I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Kenny loves us. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. The scowls. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Kenny is a bestie. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Uh, the other don't put your back against him. Oh! Where's my mouse? Let's go right. Oh, Mark! Oh, Mark, you really messed up! Oh! Get off of me! Get off of me! Stop that! You haven't did- Press S to go back away, thank you! Ah. Oh! Concussion! Ah. Ah. Okay. What is that axe stuck on? I don't even know. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Bro, I gave you food. Stop it. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came You back hit the glass and knocked him out of. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Oh, God. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Hmm. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. I don't trust I'm nobody of a name like that. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Food? Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Okay. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Hmm. Sounds too good to be true. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Uh... You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. 
What do you mean looks up Not to me? everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Yeah. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Um... It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Doesn't have to? I, uh, I really appreciate that. Carly. I mean, thank God. I'm glad Carly's so understanding. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where I don't you trust from? you. Um... The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. I ain't also, telling them nothing. In at that motor end, uh, who's running things over there? It's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh... Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. I'm trying to be... Well, we'd love to get you yeah. all out to the dairy. I don't want to tell them anything. I don't trust them. Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Too many questions. Yeah, they're basically interrogating me. As long as I can remember, but now like, I get, I like, get why you ask me questions, but like, buzz off. Damn. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always putting this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a you lot know what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Oh God! Out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zap. You betcha. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. That sounds I'm going bad. To that's a lot. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. Um. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel. Do right? people really have St. John as their last no name? Staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh... Lily, he's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, that's what I thought. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're a democracy. Hmm. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. <gasps> Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. 
Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Maybelle? What's wrong with her? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Mark, oh, shut man. your yapper. Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come. Mark! Well, okay. How about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. She can. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Okay. Well, that's that's that. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Okay. Learn about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. You this betcha. It's incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. Mark. If our cards right. This might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Yeah. Uh, obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Holy cow, I've been streaming for three hours. Probably wrap up this section. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Guy, I just got here. <laughs> right, keep me posted. Okay. Point. Pointy. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Hmm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. Uh, we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us? Hmm. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dare. Well, no, we've made some. Almost done doing your homework? Great. Came too good, losing track of time. It's true. Looking for the people they also, it's great that I don't have to talk, so I don't feel like I'm working as hard. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Oh, wait. Stop a I didn't want to do that. Oh, whatever. Three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. I wanted to look around more. Here to fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Oopsie. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Hmm. Can I go back? I don't even know where the last save is. I don't- I wanted to explore more... Yes. Hold on. Let's see.
Nope. Looks like we're doing the perimeter. Oh well. Here it is. Saint John. Oh wait, no, it's not. Can I no I can't. I have to redo this again. No! So it's tough. fine. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zap. I'm sorry everyone. You have to read. We have watched this again. <laughs> because I wanted to explore the farm. I'm going to assume that's a lot. She looks so suspicious. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. Oh, deja vu, am I right? He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I can change my answer. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Biscuits sound amazing right now. Biscuits. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet. But we could bring Mark is just so excited. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. I'm hungry. <laughs> It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. So basically everyone gets biscuits. Dangerous. That's good. I can handle myself. At least everyone gets one biscuit. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Oh, excuse me. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the Okay, fence. I heard this before. End up knocking over a post. Blah, 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 It'd be a blah, blah, big blah, help blah, blah, if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. The you betcha. Incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right. That one little crack in his glasses is like bothering me. Play this. It's realistic, but it Before bothers we me. We can think about bringing our whole group here to stay. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but Maybe there's other things not working. Yeah, I want to fix the swing. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a <laughs> And that fence. Oh god, that I'll fence. It rustles my jimmies. Such an appealing specimen. Alright, let's go look at the fence. Maybe I can repair it. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. I mean, who kids don't care about tours. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Alright, so we need... A board and some rope. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to progress because I want to fix the swing. Here's a here's a board. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, <laughs> I would like to touch it. No, Ioni, don't touch the vents. Hmm. 
Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Yeah, these planks are just laying around here all day. I bet they're pretty bored. Stupid <laughs> sexy pets. Alright, we got a board. Now we need a... Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, <laughs> Thank you for the bunk. Something to do over there. Puts blank away in my back pocket. The perimeter. Sounds good. <laughs> I know. Where did where did it go? Oh, I thought I forgot he said that. Where am I supposed to find some rope? Maybe in here. Hey lady, you got some rope? This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place... The way he just snuck up behind me, I do not like that. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, teleports behind the you. Changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Hmm. You don't even know me. How can you keep saying I'm a good guy? Yeah, you better walk away. This farm belonged to my daddy. A shoe bucket? <gasps> Rope! Don't mind if I do. For the swing. Mm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Okay. What happened to the rest of you, staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was Night. Uh when huh. will dinner be ready? it would be a while still, but it'd be How many rooms are in this house? She's such a sweetheart, but I'm so sure they own slaves. <laughs> yeah. I mean it could be like a like a a former plantation, yeah. How's your family been holding up since uh you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> Such a weird question. How many rooms are in this house? How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. All right.
that last conversation. All right. This is felt like two people having separate conversations. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully I'll get to like it too. <laughs> I can see what you mean. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. We did it! All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Hey, That doesn't look super safe, but you know, who am I to say? Alright, we fixed the swing. That was my big mission. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Understandable. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad so you awkward. to help us. <laughs> I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. This Plus, is feeling like deja vu. Days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairies? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And like us. Alright. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks. Uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Well, All right. I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Indeed, you never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Head Butler, do you want to cook some rice? Be such a like two cups of rice? We telling him we were talking <laughs> behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. <sighs> we'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Yay! Thank you. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Three cups. You want some too? Okay. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. <laughs> so nice of Head Butler. Who do you think he was? Hmm. At least it's not one of us. No, you're fine. It's good that you have an appetite. 
Yuck. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Mm. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Hmm... These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm a bit cynical. There's another one. <laughs> I see it. Maybe I'm a bit jaded. <sighs> no, you're right. Eee! She's hanging on. It's burnt right into his hands. I think they fused together. Maybe I'm jaded. Ew. Ew. You get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Just leaves them on there. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. I mean, me too, Brian. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me. I, I gave the kids food. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright, I can suck it up. It'll be really funny. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up. The food is human meat, isn't it? Oh god, don't say that. Crispy off of here. Think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. Oh Cannibalism at my St. John's dairy? Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Okay, fine. Very likely. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! Mark! What the? Get to the gate! Mark! Oh god! Over here! Who the fuck is that? No idea! What agreement? Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Okay, um. Okay, we got that. Is there anything else? Oh, here's one. We had an agreement. On. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, give me the shit that hurts. Oh, poor Mark. Are the bandits actually giving us any information? Oh god, no. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move. Get closer! Oh, get <sighs> Poor Mark. I've got another one! Another one? How many of those things did we what push down? Not this many. Oh god, it's chasing after us! It's chasing after us! Oh god! It's Oh, okay, it's fine. Let's get out of here! Please. 
Mark. Lee, what's wrong? Uh. There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn it! Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Ooh. You must be the What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Hmm. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. Mm. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. All right. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Oh, yeah. That's real charming dad it's real charming real real since carly and ben ate some of the food <laughs> to get us she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back hey kids look what lee got working for you a swing i love swings just like at my tree house come on doc yay you're the best <gasps> yeah yes i got brownie points yes Clementine loves me! <laughs> Clementine loves me! It's better than how he was earlier? That's true. Oh god. Why am I going back in front of him to talk? Okay, whatever. He actually smiled. Hey. That's what food will do to you. Anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around and let me know if you find anything else. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Legs Duck weak. Duck and need food. And I'm not about to sit around that motor in and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah. Of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you've got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Legs weak, palm sweaty, mom spaghetti. Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Now I gotta walk all the way around Duck Swinging to talk to Clementine. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's 
It's fine. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Yes, sure. absolutely. Absolutely. Clementine takes a turn. All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Hmm. How are you doing? How are you holding up, Clementine. I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Oh. Well, since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Aww. Okay. <laughs> he looks like he's about to push her really hard. No! Not the stupid sexy fence! What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things... I know, I love before. Clementine. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh... I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Yay. It's all yours. Yeah. Clementine gets like a minute on. <laughs> gets a minute on it. They look happy. All right. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Thank you for very helpful commentary. Can I go over there and talk to them, actually? Hey there! <laughs> Looks like a feeding station for the cow. I mean, that's the sensible answer you tell us a six-year-old. She's eight years old. But yeah, I <laughs> Yeah, I think I hope so. I don't know, I can't tell you. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands. Six, eight, all the yeah, same. It's, it's an even bad. number. That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Yeah. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Mm. You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. That basically says what I want to say. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. <laughs> yeah, if we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. 
He's my dad. And I love him. He got a pretty sucky dad, I gotta say. <laughs> You're paying minimal attention. And then he said, and that fence. Oh god, that fence. And now he has all your attention. I don't know why he was so passionate about that. <laughs> think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Oh, God. Uh, now, let's not be hasty. I'm going to go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah. That fence has really rustled in Jimmy's. Don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. All right. Well, I can't talk to Larry, which is fine because I don't want to talk to Larry because Larry is a butt. Anything else I can look at over here? Hey there. Lots of hay. <laughs> Looks like work is adequate cover for Meryl's, if that becomes a problem. There's the butt Larry we know and love. Well, sorry to go ahead and bail on you there. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Living like Larry. Ah! Okay, I deserve that. Don't worry, Lena. Mindo already did it. Alright. I think we did what we can. I don't really want to look at anything else. I've looked at this place enough. I thought it was really nice to us. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Safe big box. box? Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. I don't trust that guy up the Were face. They all have faces. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. It looks like a skill issue. Don't worry, Clementine, I'll come back. The loading screens are so fast. See anything? Not yet. And then Leah never came back. I know it's around here. Lee, Leah, they're basically the same person. I know, I do have an SSD. Here. <laughs> because they got oh, lost. Shit. You found it? Don't see nobody. Sneak up to the camp. Ah, just stops right at the end. You see anybody? Uh, stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. This guy does look very shifty. 
or shady. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Empty. Oh, oh. But I thought that was a like different thing. Eating out of these. Recently. Soup Express. Alphabet soup. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Hmm. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. Anything in it? Is there a reason why we pushed it over more? No, I guess not. Hmm. Did you see that? What'd I see? Stuff. What'd I see? What should I see? Looks like they expected to be here a while. Empty. Huh. Camera. What do you find? A video camera. How he gave us a look when we saw the box? Oh yeah, I did that see that. Did, though. Oh, good. He is too shady. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Okay, man, buzz off. Nothing. Yuck. I don't need that. He has something to say about everything, huh? Just water. Hmm. <laughs> You're letting a woman be in charge? I do. What's in here? Oh? What's that? The hell? Don't fucking move. <gasps> Shit. That's Clementine's hat. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Tell who? Or Jolene. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had to deal with them. I ain't them. Well, who are you? I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. What do they do? Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We uh, had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. Not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. 
They took her away into the woods. Oh dear, that sounds awful. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. I did what? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh. Oof. Not the jewels. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> Ooh. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Why are you complimenting yourself? So... That's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I don't like this guy. He has a very suspicious face. a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. It what? did seem like well, she knew something. Maria, not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. I don't like this thunderstorm. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we- It's human meat! They don't find any- ah! thing. Oh, God! No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. It's true. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Oh. Something ain't right with this farm. All right. We are going to call it here. Yes. And we'll move right on over. Here I am. 
It's human meat! We'll never find out. Let's touch now. Such as... Oh, my, my crunchy back. Alright. We will find out next time, whenever I play this game again. I'll have to look at, like, maybe doing a rotation or something. Stop with the sissy I was stretching! <laughs> yes, my tail is very floopy. Concussion! Stop it! Give it to me! I couldn't say! Ah! Alright. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> there, it's fine. What else would I put it there for? Uh, just give me a. Oh, no. Thank you for the head pat. I only have a slight concussion now. Thank you. Oh my goodness. May your L's be many and your <laughs> bitches few. Oh my gosh. Yep, thank you for stopping by, Lena, and hanging out. I'm glad. It was a lot of fun. We hope me and Eight Head Butler have a Delicious dinner, thank you, thank you. I am excited. I'm looking forward to making the Chinese donuts. I'm just trying to figure out who to raid. I see Stella is doing her monthly tarot reading. Um, Osurai Code, Maisie and Molly by maids. They're doing pumpkin carving. That sounds fun. And then Teal Emil is playing Baldur's Gate. So let's see. Hollow's tail motion. <laughs> yes, thank you, Linda, for coming. Thank you. Man, so many people are doing stuff. What do I want to do? Oh, it looks like a meal just finished. Okay. Oh. Maybe after this ad stops. Yay, yes, always happy. Always happy to have you here. No, my tail. Stop. Back off. You already had your flooping time. No more. <laughs> I know it's fluffy. Oh, okay. Well, let's go send y'all over to Maisie and Molly, who are... It looks like they finished carving their pumpkins. I'm not sure, but... Go ahead and tell them hi. You can say Wolf Doggo Made Orito if you want, or whatever. <laughs> Thank you again, everyone, for stopping by for this very long stream. I was not expecting to be streaming for almost four hours. Holy buckets. But I was having a lot of fun, and we made good progress. I think we're about halfway through episode two, so yeah. We didn't do emu wars last time. Well, you could have done it. I was not stopping you. Yeah, take care, Lena. And take care, everyone. Thank you again, Smallest, for the gift sub. You're a busy vampire. You got the emus? Yes, you can do the emus. <laughs> Super good times. Yeah, thank you! 
It makes me happy. Ah, it makes me happy to see you guys every time I stream. Oh, thank you for the head pat. Yay! Uh, just before I send y'all away, again, I'm not going to be streaming next week because I will be at a convention. So I'll see you the second week of November. So take care, stay warm, and I'll see you guys again. Thank you, bye-bye. Love y'all, bye-bye. I'm sending y'all to the maids now, bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good night.